everything in red is going to be underwater. In Whoa. 15, years, 15 years, during the extreme tide in October, every high tide is going to be this high. Now let's look at 2060. High tide in October, areas that will be below sea level. It's uninhabitable. I was in a movie called Water World, and it got really bad reviews. <laughs> but now we can see that we were right. <laughs> can you show me on the map what the worst case scenario is for, say, 2100? Whoa. Yeah. There's no safe place. There's no more Miami. started putting in massive pumps. We also began raising the road. We've actually raised the street higher. Two years ago. That's what this is. Exactly. We believe it's a good 40, 50 year solution. This is I... a 50 year solution. Absolutely. Is it even a realistic goal to say, let's lift the whole city up? It seems insane to me. We don't have that much rock. Right. <laughs> what about seawalls? Oh. Is that a problem for Miami is that we sit on top of a bed of porous limestone underneath wow. us. The whole city is built on a foundation of Swiss cheese, basically? Yeah, a rocky version of Swiss cheese. You want to see a piece of it? A little, yeah. I got some out here in the yard. Yeah, yeah, I got some of it. This is the reason we can't keep the water out. This is Miami Formation limestone, and the wow. water goes right through it. Eventually, Miami will be underwater. It's just a matter of when. You got it. The sea level is going to rise, and Miami won't be here when it rises. Jack. Cole Hernandez Hammer. So great to meet you. Just to be clear, we're miles away from the beach, and yet water comes all the way here through the, the floor, basically. Through the limestone, yeah. I think there's a certain degree of denial. It can't possibly be that Miami's going to be underwater. What do you tell people in the community? That what we have here is going away. have over 300 permits for significant high-rise, mid-rise construction. There's no slowing down in sight. Right now, we have over $20 billion of, of new buildings going up. So no one seems to be panicked. Not building increases. We are experiencing construction here that is unprecedented with a lot of cash coming to Miami. Everybody's happy and it's fantastic. That's where it becomes a difficult question. What we know is coming is sea level rise. Three feet, six feet, 12 feet. What is it that, that keeps me from really believing or wrapping my head around these facts? You are thinking that our brains are only rational, and they're not. Our brains are wired in part to deny unpleasant emotions. And it feels more comfortable just to just to shut down the scientific part of my brain and just enjoy the right now, just do nothing. You are not alone. I have dubbed the condition pre-traumatic stress disorder. Delaney, nice to meet you. I'm Jack. I go around and I educate as many people as possible, but my main focus is kids, because it's our generation that is going to inherit this problem. I like to say that I live in a state of denial, but not me personally, the entire state of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, it's a world problem, right? It's not just a Miami problem. Do you have any events coming up? 
Yes, actually, part of a program called Breakthrough Miami. I'm Delaney, and I'm going to talk to you guys about my passion, which is global warming and sea level rise. The good news is there are things that we can do. Instead of using fossil fuels, we have technology like wind power and hydropower and electric cars and solar power. We just need to use it. Thank you.